Hello and welcome to another episode of My Life Experiences. I'm your host, Nyanewa Sosola Wezi. Yay, summertime. Yay, it's the best time. So summer is around the corner, guys. It's also wedding season in this part of the world. And people are getting married. Weddings are being planned. All the way maybe, maybe up to December. So I said to myself, what better time than now to share with the guys who are getting married some tips on how to handle money, some humble wisdom that I've gathered over um, almost the last 16 years in marriage on handling money. You know, the issue of money cannot be overemphasized. It's one of the leading causes for marital conflict and also divorce. So it's very important that we talk about it, especially in the Christian circles. Yeah, guys, uh, I know that when you, as you are getting married, some people will be coming to you with advices. It will be up to you to, to, to save off whatever you feel to be important. You take it up, whatever you feel to be trash, you throw it away. Like, for example, myself, when I was getting into marriage, somebody came to me with his advice and he said to me, you know what, Wazi, you are a working class woman. You have to be clever. Um, sometimes men can be cruel. Maybe they may do something to you in the future. They may break up with you. So you should stash for yourself some money somewhere because you don't know what may happen. So you use that as a windfall or as a fallback. Then I said, guys, it's undeniable that marriage, sometimes they do fail. They, breakups do happen even in the Christian circles. It happens and on valid reasons. But I can't start planning my failure before I even start the marriage. Why should I be stashing off some money? I don't want to live as a slave to secrets, keeping secrets for my spouse, stashing away some money. What is money anyway? Then I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to trust in God. I'll go there with optimism. I'll go there as an open book. I'm trusting the God who started this journey with me, who will lead me through whatever circumstance may come on the way. So that's the decision I came up to, guys. It's up to you also to take up whatever advice is beneficial to you and leave out whatever you feel that is just trying to instill fear in you or to strain your relationship. Yes, guys, so when you are dealing with money, it's an very delicate issue that you need to do it together make your plans together as a unit don't do it in silos as a couple uh, and when you are making these plans they can be long-term plans covering over a year or up to whatever period of time in the long term more than a uh, four months more than six months whatever long term is to you and you can make also short-term plans that may cover a weekly basis or may cover a month, short-term and long-term. That's what I'm going to focus on. But this time around, I'll talk with long or short-term plans. You know, when you are making these plans together, when you translate them in monetary terms, that is what we call budgets. So when you are coming up with your budgets, you have to do it on the premise of transparency and accountability. When the pastor blesses your marriage, he pronounces you as husband and wife, as one person. You are now one. You have to be transparent to each other. Bring your money together. Not literally bringing the money together. Some people, they open a joint account, but I'm not saying that you should open a joint account. It will be up to you how you look at it. But bringing it together on paper, the husband should be transparent to say to the wife that, look, my wife, this is what I'm earning. And the wife should say that, your husband, look, this is what I'm earning. Bring it together and make your, your budget from there. And one tip that I want to say about budget is when you are making your budget, you should make sure that you do it before you get the actual salary in your hands. Because most of the time we make that mistake and once you get money in your hands, it's like it disorients you, it confuses you, 
you come up with so many plans that that may not be the best for you but you have to do your budget even before you get your money in hands you should know already this is how we are gonna use the money together and this for you it will also be like a bonding moment as a couple as you are talking over your plans as you are talking over your budgets how are we spending the money that we are making in this month i know that sometimes people especially when a man is married to a stay at home mom a stay at home woman who is not working who is not bringing incomes sometimes the man can really be secretive may just say that okay i'll just give my wife some pocket change some pocket money to do whatever she wants to do with it and the man makes all the decisions by himself he makes all the plans by himself yet these people are married this these people are supposed to be one you know saying things like in the vernacular saying that oh you know what Hey, as mind of food, Adu. There's sunga uze, sunga uze, and my salary, and my in the option. In the demand, we put a two hundred thousand basi. Who do? Abange as mangire madredi. Abange zmena gufuna. Sina zonu abanga deka. Like saying something like that. That they you know what women are. You cannot trust them. I just give her some pocket money to do whatever she wants to braid her hair and do whatever she wants and I'll do everything myself. I cannot reveal my salary. But this is your wife. Is this your child? This is supposed to be your wife. You're confident. Somebody you are married to may be the mother to your children. You be have a family together. You stay, you spend basically the rest of your life with this person. In good times and in bad times, till death do you part. And if you are making this type of pronouncements it's it's unhelpful to you as a couple so i just want to encourage you to do things together make the budgets together another thing that i want to say is that when you are making these budgets the elements that are supposed to be in this budget make sure that you set aside your whatever you want to give to god your tithes your offering set them aside your arms set them aside plan them beforehand that this is my tithe that i'm gonna give to god these are the monthly offerings that we are gonna give this month these are the arms this is what i'm gonna help people from the my wife's side and this is what i'm gonna help people from my husband's side so do all that together as a unit so guys, I underestimated the, 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 the time that I would do this in. At this point, I would like to call off uh, this episode. I've taken so much time discussing these two issues. I'm going to continue in the next episode on how to manage money. First of all, do it together with your spouse as a unit. Do it on the basis of trust and accountability and and the, and the transparency. Uh, trust that the God who's brought you through this will take you up to the end. And um, when you are doing the budget, do it together. Be open with one another. Thank you, guys. Till next time, stay blessed.